Hello to each and every one of you. So today we are going to be looking at uh, polishing dome. Okay, yes. So we also have the revision that is taking us to 1.5. Okay, yes. So which is our figure 1.5 is of a polishing dome. Okay, so the very first thing that I want to say to you is the definition of a polishing dome. Okay, yes. Okay, so a, so a polishing dome, we can say this is a mass of polluted air. Okay, in and above the city okay so this a is in and above the city okay yes or we can just say from industrial complex okay which is prevented from rising by the presence of an invasion above it okay so in other forms um into explanation to what i just said to you is that a portion dome this will buy um you know that in cities there's more emission of carbon dioxide as well as other greenhouse gases okay yes so when these greenhouse gases or the emitted um, pollutants okay they are trying to rise okay when they are trying to rise so sorry uh, sorry let me just read that um, so when they are trying to rise um, they get trapped okay mostly during the night okay because you know that the pollution dome is mostly concentrated during the night so they are trapped Okay, at a certain level above the city, but not far from the city. Okay, yes, as you can see, the pollution dome, that dome shape, is not far from the city. Okay, yes, so these pollutants are around the city. Okay, yes, as well as mostly on top of the city. Okay, yes, so why it's trapped during the night and why there's more of that dome shape, as I mentioned, because there's more subsiding air during the night. We all know that. Okay, which then suppresses that or those pollutants not to keep on rising to be away from the city so that's how this pollution dome is formed okay yes with the presence of terrestrial radiation mean that there's also um the, 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 there's also um the warm temperatures that are being lost by the buildings lost by the tarots during the night okay yes because during the night you know that um around um, or on the surface, there is more of a cold air, okay? Yes, which then leads to more terrestrialization, the warmth leaving the, the structures from the city, okay? So all that warmth, which is said to be a terrestrial radiation, as well as the pollutants that got trapped um, it, in this pollution around the city, okay? Yes, mostly pollutants, okay? Yes, so sorry, pollutants. And that's how it goes. Okay, so in this case now, um, having that you understood uh, how pollution dome forms and uh, I've nailed to you, okay, the, 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 the definition as well as the explanation of a pollution dome. Let's jump into our questions, okay. So, question 1.5 says, let's look at our figure, um, 1.5 which shows a pollution dome. So, the very first question says, 1.5.1 give two reasons why pollution domes are more uh, common in most cities okay so we have to give two reasons why pollution domes are common in most cities okay so you know that um in cities right okay so you know that a pollution dome has mostly something to do with pollutants with the release with the emission of the pollutants okay yes you know that in cities this is why there are more um, the more industrial activity that are taking place, which then leads to the release of the carbon dioxide and other greenhouse gases. Okay, yes, more vehicles. You know that there's combustion reaction that occurs in our vehicles, which then leads to the release of the carbon dioxide. That's number two. And you can also say that, um, um, you can also say that due to more people around the city, they will then that will then lead to more release of um of other greenhouse gases or other pollutants such as carbon dioxide right um you know that also in cities um there's less vegetation such as trees etc because of construction and 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 okay yes so that will then lead to less trees or less vegetation will then lead to 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 less oxygen or fresh air around the city which then will also then lead to um more carbon dioxide concentrated around the cities okay yes so that's how it goes so you are going to choose any that you you think is suitable for you i hope you are listening right yes so we can just say all of these um general stops okay yes so let's move to so you have your two marks so we're just going to mention two from what i've just said to you 
Okay, so let's move to 1.5.2. So um, you also have to give evidence from the diagram that suggests that this pollution dome is occurring at night. So let's give an evidence from this diagram that shows that this pollution dome is occurring at night. I told you that a pollution dome is most considered at night, right? Why? Because of the shape, as you can see. So it's just because of this dome shape. Okay, yes. So this dome shape, or uh, this dome shape shows it. Okay, yes. You can just say um, the dome shape um, implies that this pollution dome is occurring at night. That's straightforward. Let's move to 1.5.3. So suggest a reason why pollution domes are more concentrated at night. So let's give a reason or a reason, okay, why pollution domes are more concentrated at night. Okay. So I also think I think I also gave you this. Okay, yes. So the reason why I'm mostly concentrated during the night is because during the night I told you that there is more subsiding cold air. Okay, yes during the night, okay, yes. So if there's more um, subsiding um, cold air, okay, yes, during the night, meaning that then the pollutants aren't able to continue to rise from the city, okay, yes, because they're trapped by that or they're suppressed by that um, subsiding or sinking air, which is very cold and dense, okay, yes, so that's how it can trap these pollutants not to rise and to be continue to, to be um, concentrated around the switches. I think you get it. I hope you get it, guys. Okay, so let's move to the next following question. The next following question says, um, so we're supposed to give at least one here. So it's a straightforward answer. So you got it too much. So let's move to 1.5.4. 1.5.4 says, how do pollution domes increase temperatures in a, in a city? So, how do these pollution domes increase temperatures in a city? It's a straightforward answer, guys. Okay, yes. So, you know that um, in a city, right? We talk about night now, okay? Because it's in the pollution dome is concentrated, okay? Yes. So, you know that um, during the night, there is those pollutants are trapped right yes so those pollutants are trapped okay yes during the night those pollutants are trapped so if they're trapped during the night you know also during the night um i also mentioned that on the surface there is um dominance of the cold air okay yes meaning that now the warm air has risen okay yes due to or uh, as a form of terrestrial radiation upwards so when they move upwards this um, warm air as a form of terrestrial radiation is then got trapped by these pollutants or these greenhouse gases. Okay, yes, and that's how they form these um, warm conditions around um, around um, a city. Yes, that's how it goes. Okay, yes, um, yeah. So we all know that. Um, so those pollutants in the city can also form artificial clouds okay yes so they can also form the artificial clouds which are then formed by these pollutants i think we all see we can all we all know that um when you may be far from the city but you can clearly see a city from a distance you can see that there are like um clouds always which are formed okay yes like a misty um conditions or just above the city or around the city okay Yes, so these are just pollutants. These are clouds that have been formed or artificial clouds that have been formed by these pollutants are released by humans that are living in the city, okay? Yes, other than in the natural occurrence or by clouds that have been formed by just evaporation, okay? Yes, so that's how it goes. So these um, pollutants here, okay? Yes, which in this form of clouds, they then trap these um terrestrial radiation or this warm rising air so that's how they increase these um, warm conditions around the city or around that pollution dome i hope you get it guys and that's how it goes okay so that's it let's raise that to move to the next following question so the next following question says um okay so you are supposed to give one at least i 
mentioned a bit some um, couple of points so we, we are going to construct in our own way as well as in your own understanding to apply during your exam so let's move to 1.5.5 so they say explain the negative impact of pollution domes on people um on people are greater in winter okay when people are greater in winter okay so in this case now we have to explain or give the negative impacts of these pollution domes on people or on humans that are living on the on the city okay so you know that um we have to explain why negative impacts okay okay are greater in winter okay so why they are greater in winter you know that in winter there are cold conditions okay yes and there is strong 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 subsidence of cold dense air in winter cold dense air in winter cold dense air in winter okay so this is cold dense air in winter meaning that this cold dense air okay very dense and cold okay meaning that it leads to more suppression of this um pollution dome meaning that the pollution dome now is not relatively far away from the city okay is more suppressed meaning that is close to to the buildings as well as people so people are constantly inhale inhaling those those um pollutants okay so that's number one also you can just say the pollution that are trapped over the city affects the air quality that is in direct contact with people okay yes i think that's pretty um um the very same um or close um point uh compared to what i just said to you okay yes so um the, the very first thing that you are going to say so sorry the very first thing that you're going to say is that in winter there's more substance of cold air which then suppresses the pollution dome to closer to to the people as well as the buildings of the city and that's number one number two we can also say that um the pollutants that are Generally or concentrated around the city are going to be inhaled by by the human beings that are living in the city mean that they are close in close contact with people so that's going to affect the air quality so that's how it goes i hope we all get that okay so you mentioned you're supposed to mention two and i think i've mentioned um a couple of three points okay yes yeah, so we're going to choose um which one you want to use during your exams okay so let's move to 1.5.6 1.5.6 1.5.6 says provide sustainable strategies that can reduce the occurrence of pollution domes in our cities. Okay, so let's talk about um, um, precaution, okay, or professional measures that could be taken place in order for us to reduce the pollution dome in cities, meaning that to reduce those um, emission of pollutants. Okay, yes. So in this case now, we have to look on what causes the pollution dome and how we can um, manage and reduce that okay come up with solutions okay so meaning that as you know that it is also being um caused by the the usage of many cars in the cities which are private vehicles okay yes meaning that we have to then conscientize um, um citizens okay to not use cars okay yes mean that if ever you can like you you can walk I mean that if you want to do shopping if ever you can walk from this point to check out from this point to shop right from this point to do it etc so I mean that there's no need for you to use a car okay yes I mean that there must be less um there must be less citizens that are using cars or private cars and number two we can just say that you know that um there is more concentration of greenhouse gases mostly the carbon dioxide around I mean that because of less trees mean that there must be more vegetation that are being planted around the cities okay yes that's number two and number three you can just also say that there must be green belts or green gardens um on top of there on top of the roofs of there of the buildings in the city I mean that there must be plants that are that, that are consuming much or that are demanding much carbon dioxide so that they can absorb um those pollutants okay yes such as carbon dioxide um you can also say that um you know that we we in cities we have more industrial activities that are taking place right yes so mean that we have to we have to um, decentralize those industrial um companies or those um factories to be away from the city okay
okay yes so there are so many things that you can mention with that okay yes so that's the end of all this video thanks bye